Holy shit! This is huge news. Okay, so in the video that I did about Yuhime's PvP, I wasn't really trying to get to the point where Yuhime sucks. I was trying to get to the point where the tanky meta really sucks. And I couldn't for the life of me figure out why we are doing so little damage. And I know some of you guys said like defense breaks and all that. True, but what about Jin Yao, right? Jin is just gonna strip it. I mean, unless I have other debuffs in the first place and all that. Which is actually possible with the disease debuff that Yuhime has. But okay, but that aside, GG Easy has actually discovered a godsend reason why Yuhime is actually doing not that good right now. And I, I really like the way that he analyzes this video. And there is absolutely no way that anyone would have discovered this. Not sure how he found out. <laughs> he has like a developer's mind or something like that. But let's take a look at this video and I will explain the whole process along the way so that it's a little bit easier for you to understand as well. Alright, so there's a glaring issue with Yuimei right now. She is way and beyond far inferior from uh, Luo Yan. And I'm not just talking about her max HP cap percentage while her being 20% and Luo Yan being 30%. It goes beyond that. It's uh, the interaction of Yuhime with max HP cap. So before I get into this test, uh, there's something that you need to know. When you land a HP cap, it doesn't reflect upon the enemy's percentage HP. So for example, if you land 20% HP cap without doing any damage, uh, when you inspect their status, it will show you that the enemy still has 100% of his or her max HP. Okay, so I hope you guys caught that. So what he's trying to say is after reducing the max HP of the enemy, this, whatever that you're left with, is the new 100% and it will be recorded if you press and hold the Esper stats to see the Esper's HP. It will still be recorded as 100% even though their max HP has technically already been reduced. And this is important because this affects the damage calculation of HP related uh, damage or HP related other things like shields and all that. And the right is Duo Yen. The red numbers are Ashley's damage and the yellow numbers are Yuimei's and Luo Yen's damage respectively. Okay, quick pause. So you might notice that there is a big difference between the red numbers here, left and right. And the reason for that is because their max HP is reduced, therefore Ashley's actual true damage is also reduced this way. Now, when, when we take a look at Yuhime's damage, uh, she does a total of 10,804 damage, including Ashley's damage, while Luo Yen, 9,763 damage. This is important, by the way. Slightly weaker than Yuhime, which is expected because Yuhime has better stats than Luo Yen. But when we inspect the enemy's max HP, Yuhime's enemy has a total of 81% HP, while Luo Yen's uh, enemy has a total of 65% max HP, which means Yuhime did a total of 19% of the enemy's max HP, while Luo Yen did 35%. Now let's do some math, right? The enemy's max HP before HP cap reduction is 38,905. After Yuhime lands the HP cap, the enemy now has 31,124. So this is the new final 100% max HP that the enemy has after Yuhime has inflicted the HP cap reduction, which is 20%. Essentially, that's why he's using 38.9k times 80%. This is the new max HP of the enemy. 19% of that is 5,900. Okay, and now what this 19% is, is essentially the final HP that the enemy had after Yuhime attacked, the enemy was 81%, right? As you can see over here, 81%. So we did 19% of that enemy's new max HP in damage. And therefore, the actual amount of damage that we did to that enemy is 5,913.56. And you notice that this is different to the 10,000 that he has uh, showcased over here, right? 10,804. And there is a very good reason why there is a big disparity between whatever damage that we are actually doing versus the actual damage that they are actually receiving. And he will get into that. 10,804 to 5,913. And this number is very similar to her second hit, which is the 6,221. And that's because that's the only calculable damage that she does when she lands the HP cap. It's a bit off because they, the game doesn't provide us decimal points. It's more like she did like 19.9% uh, of the enemy's max HP rather than 19% on the dot. Now when we take a look at Luo Yen's damage, Luo Yen did a total of 9,763 as I said just now, but he did 30% of the enemy's max HP cap. So now after 30% max HP cap, the enemy has 27,233.5. The enemy's percentage HP is now at 65% which means he lost 35% uh, of max HP. Now 35% of 27,233. So he's recalculating the, the actual damage that we did to the enemy after reducing the enemy's max HP. Funnily enough, 
equals to 9531, which is pretty much the exact same as Luoyan's total damage. So Luoyan didn't drop any damage whatsoever. From his uh, total damage of 9763, he is now at 9,531, which is basically the same. It is the same because, like I said, the game doesn't offer us uh, decimal points. It's more like 35.5% of the enemy's max HP. Luoyan didn't drop any damage, while Yuhime dropped from 10,804 to 5,913. Now, why is that the case? That is because Yuhime's first hit not only wastes the 10% damage that she does, which is 692, but she also wastes Ashley's Rainbow Bridge damage. Holy crap! Of 3,891. Damn! Those two damage are complete, completely nullified because she does that damage first before doing the HP cap. So she does the 692 damage first, that 10% of her, of her attack, which triggers Ashley's max HP cap. I mean, I mean, it which triggers Ashley's true damage. Now, after that is done, that is when the HP cap ceiling actually comes into play. That's where, so it's like, you damage the enemy, and then you are re removing that max HP cap, which supersedes whatever that Ashley did as well. So that's why your final damage is less than the total here. <laughs> of Poor synergy with Ashley. And then once the HP cap lands, then she does the 6,221. And that is why she loses a whole a huge bulk of the damage. She is very unsynergistic with Ashley and also herself because that 10% is completely wasted. I don't even know why they gave her that 10% to begin with. She would be better off just being a one-hit unit. We'll take a look at Luo Yen's case. Luo Yen, why doesn't he drop any damage, right? His total damage and his true damage is still the same. Even because he's single he hits. HP and that's because Luo Yen does what Yu Himei does, but he does it even better. So what Yu Luo Yen does is that he checks whether the HP cap goes through first before he does anything. So the first check is does he manage to get the HP cap? If he does, he does the, his damage plus Ashley's damage, which means... Okay, I don't really think that there is an if clause here. I think what happens is just HP cap reduction happens first, followed by anything damage related. So it's as simple as that. So if you fail to, uh, if you get resisted, for example, right, you don't reduce the, the enemy's max HP, you will still do the DPS portion, which is going to be like his damage plus Ashley's damage as well. That is exactly what's happening over here. He doesn't uh, waste any form of damage. Whereas Yuhime, it goes to uh, damage check, which is the 10% and Ashley's damage. And then it goes through the max HP cap and then the 90% extra damage. And that is why Yuhime is way and beyond far inferior than Luo Yen. Yep. Right? <laughs> that is essentially, I, I did not realize that this was happening because what I expected was when she used her third skill, I would drop the enemy's max HP by 30%. That was my basic expectation because I'm using her with Ashley. But apparently that's not the case. That's why we're not dealing all that much damage to the enemy. Like we, we were not dealing a lot in the first place. And even if we were to have the defense break, yes, that might have worked. But we should also acknowledge that she has very poor synergy with Ashley. But that does not mean that you cannot use her with Ashley. It's just you're missing that extra bit of overpowered synergy, I would say. But it is still entirely possible to run Ashley with like other aspects you have. So even after reducing the, the HP cap of the enemy, you can then follow up with using the rest of your other aspects to combo a little bit more with Ashley. Yes, you're going to be wasting one of the Rainbow Bridge buffs that Ashley has by using you, Heimei, to attack first. So it kind of sucks in that sense, but it's not the end of the world. However, with that said, I do wish that the game tries to revamp PvP again. Like, try to get rid of the HP cap if possible, or maybe like reduce it even further. I think 25% at 0.18 is still a little bit too much. It's very hard for you to have a team that works really well right now because the tanky meta is just extremely strong and extremely toxic, extremely brainless, which is the most important thing. So that allows me to just auto almost all of the 0.1 matches that I have. Whereas if I were to play Speed Cleave, I need to be very careful about the opponents that I pick. I need to refresh and reset a lot. Or I might even need to play manually, which is like, why would I want to do it when there is the skip button over there, right? So that is the end of this video. Yuhime is way more inferior to Loyan than you might think. Very well put. Anyway, this is GG Easy. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out his content. He makes really, really good videos, well put together. There is a lot of thought put into the videos that he makes, and he always makes great content. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now with that said, this has been Dairy Free to Play. And as always, I will see you in the next video.